Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer and we're returning to our Let's Play of War in the East where I think it's about to go over to the Russian turn. So the war is still grinding to a hold. It's end of October here uh, and the area is muddy so we haven't really been able to do that much of a push uh, of our forces over the la last couple of turns. Uh, we hope that that is going to change soon uh, but again our supply situation is terrible so our units have if if they have 20% of fuel, we are lucky. Um, let's see, hopefully that is going to be um, better in the next couple of turns. I think we are going to see some snow very soon. Uh, but I do want to see also what the Russians are doing here during their turn. Um, so let's see what's going on over here. And ideally I would also like on the map to see my and their territory. Firstly, it's only the uh, Russian logistics phase of course. And then we are going to turn it over towards the actual phase. We are here at Vishemia. I would like to get to Moscow. I would really like to get there. Uh, but honestly, I don't think that is going to be feasible. Um, the defense value there is so high. I simply don't think that's really viable. They might actually attack over here, even in a mod turn. But they are not. So they do hand it over towards our logistics turn. You can see all this stuff happening up there on the top. Um, game calculating basically all its things, all the rather complicated things, I should say. Um, so that's nice to see, uh, but that's always taking a while. And then we need to see what the weather situation is, what our attrition rate is, and so on and so forth. I suppose this is not going to be a very long turn. Um, I think we are going to keep most of our forces where they are, because I don't want to move them too much. Right, let's have a look over here. So about 2,000 Germans killed, a couple of tanks destroyed, and all of that. Um, not too drastic, I would say. A couple of Soviet deaths. It's a really quiet turn. And nevertheless, we have lost, lost, so damaged and destroyed, uh, two, a thousand vehicles over here. And 8,000 are, are due to other reasons. Uh, let's check on the report actually to see uh, what's going on. So firstly down here, I want to find out how our vehicles are doing. So yeah, we have lost during the campaign. Okay, that's just last turn though, I want to know. Um, last turn due to unit movement. Damaged 4,000, but these we can repair. Another 4,000 damage to resupply. So, at the very least, we are getting um, a couple of... We are getting a net, so I think we... This turn... They're not that many destroyed, I believe. Let's see. Damaged during the campaign. Damaged due to this turn lost this turn to resupply operations is another thousand though so actually we might end up with fewer vehicles here that is yeah that's not great for us um but still i think slowly but surely we are getting better shift d i think is terrain uh, or weather actually so yeah we are still seeing uh, supply issues due to uh, due to uh, mud next turn is also forecast to be mud couple of units upgrading couple of fighters couple of dive moments here uh, not too much. Ooh, you're actually uh, switching to the ME210. That's nice to see. Couple of vehicles. Not really that much going on in that regard. Couple of Panzer divisions are swapping stuff. Uh, mostly recon vehicles and flak vehicles to stuff that we captured. Um, that's okay, but not critical really. Um, yeah, and other than that, it doesn't seem to be um, going that much on. Um, and I suppose, honestly, I don't know whether we should be moving anywhere. Is there supplies, by the way? Soft factor. Soft factor should be, I think, supplies. There we go. Right, so how is the situation up here then? So, supply situation on this Panzer Division here is still not great. Vehicles are good. Vehicles re received is also good. Supplies consumed. Yeah, you are still consuming more than you are receiving. That is primarily... Uh, still due to, well, two things really. Firstly, our rail lines only go up till here. And then secondly, the supply doesn't really reach that far. You can see it basically reaches only one, two, three, four, five points maybe from the railhead. Uh, although we are building up quite a bit due to all of the Russians that we captured that we are sent to, that we are sending to work on the rail lines as you can see over here. So that is at, at the very least nice. Also, I think these guys did make at least a full hex of progress over here. Uh, but you can see a lot of the southern part of our front is still so, so, so much lacking uh, supplies. Um, also, I want to find out about you, your supply details, because you didn't have that much to begin with. 
And now you only have two. And you did receive three. This is pathetic. This is truly pathetic. Yeah, and that's mostly, we can see, you can see over here, that's mostly due to the fact that you're being reinforced in phase two. So that's if you don't have a headquarter close by. Um, and the there's a there's a very drastic um, cost of supply simply because you're so far away from the rail lines. So we're definitely going to push out the rail lines further here. I think one of our units should be here. Yeah, let's do bring it down here. I think I want to bring it at least towards Karashev, if not closer uh, to this area over there. So let's keep on selecting these guys build this up and I think you can only probably move one few further and you cannot repair over here. Still it's gonna give us it's gonna push out the supply situation at least towards I think the city will be within theoretical supply so that is good to see um, and that is at least some progress and likewise up here you can at least rebuild this um, and then I think we'll have to see whether we can shift back the this tank division here simply so we can reach out our a rail line towards the north over here because it's just generally something that I would like to do. Rishev is one of the big targets um, that we have um, and that we are aiming for so that I think should be okay. Alternatively of course we could think about building a rail line down here although right now that doesn't seem to be quite as relevant and I do see these guys are building something up uh, here. There are some units here, some units there so I think all in all we will be alright over there. Uh, over here it might be a little bit more difficult, but that could be solved once these guys do get up here in the north a little bit more. And in the far south, well, it would be extremely good to not just build to this situation up here, but also just come down here a little bit close towards this river uh, that ultimately will form our defensive line. Uh, but for now that just doesn't seem to be too viable. Right, so what we could do is move up on fall back with our units here and um, they have very little fuel, they have li very little um, in, in other terms. So it would be good to just form a good defensive line and also start uh, with the digging in process. Uh, the big drawback of, of falling back so quickly is that it does use uh, supplies to move and that is obviously something that we'd rather want to avoid at this uh, very moment at least. So we need to be a little bit careful there, but I do think we want to move up a little bit over here because we do have this unit Which is part of the core that I think these units here um, Are very well suited to do so this is the 53rd core So maybe I can move out the infantry here with the 53rd core yeah, I think you probably need to be the one guarding the rear of water itself so that is a little bit better simply because now our units are just distributed a little bit more, more nicely so that is okay right you guys up here still not sure what I want to do with you um, and indeed many of these uh, units up here so the supply situation for you why is it so bad still I mean you still haven't really received that much fuel only 19% that is because we have a very negative rail modifier uh, and that in turn I think is principally due to the fact that um, so you, wait a minute you are commanding a couple of units here and there really uh, including this unit up there okay let's move you here to the center hoping that we are going to be able to do a little bit more there then we're also going to move this guy up here uh, towards the rail line still I want to do very much minimal movements um, simply because A, I don't really know what we're going to do with the sign forces over here um, and secondly uh, I don't want to use too many too many of our moves to do this okay we can actually extremely little fuel but I do want to ideally bring all of these cavalry divisions here together you're withdrawing interesting how about you guys here you are all considered ready right yeah so yeah, uh, for now let's not pull back. I do want to use um, very little of our supply uh, situation, especially of our vehicles. I want our motor pull to, to build up a little bit more. Uh, but I do think we should at least try to make an attack over here um, so that we are getting these things a little bit more in, in line to where we want them to be. 
Let's try to grab a couple of these little towns over here and just push back the Russians there, um, as far as possible at least. Right, you can probably go along the railway line. Then again, this tank unit here, and um, that should really start to come home. You are so far away from supply though. Oh well, let's do what we can do. Right, you're all fine. So yeah, let's attack then against this unit. You have a little bit more supplies. Uh, but you know what, we are going to pick both of you guys and do deliberate attack over here. Pushing them back, so that is nice to see. Um, and indeed we might want to advance a little bit here then. Actually all the way up to the railway line itself. Same over here. A very heavy train passing by my apartment, so you might hear a little bit of that. Right, so you can now move over here on... Chain uh, un uncontested. Great, so that is nice. And then you can move up there, but you couldn't. Hmm, you couldn't do anything about that because you'd be zone of controlled. We have these units, but they are pr principally refitting, um, reducing their fatigue. They do have quite a bit of um, of the stuff that they do need. All in all. Except armored cars, so I think we are very short on these and rifle squadrons. Yeah, still it's good to see. Right, so what could we do to push this guy back? It's only tank brigade, so it's not really that strong. I suppose, well, you can't move. Okay, let's move you out. Let's try to attack. Okay, that was not overly successful. Let's do a deliberate attack. That seems better, much better in fact. I also lost quite a bit of um, stuff over here, including 17 vehicles. Uh, that is nice. Right, and then you have 6 defensive value. And I suppose it's not much better still because you're still in the zone of control of this guy. Okay, let's try to bomb unit this one. 110 bombers are coming in, that is good. Didn't lose anything. Interestingly enough, they didn't challenge us either. Uh, we have good intelligence on them. They do have more than 300 infantry units there and a good number of guns. Um, still, rail rail lines are important. So I'm going to try deliberate attack here. It's probably going to fail horribly. Yes, it is. One, two, six. So, yeah, and us losing more than 100 men. That was not a very good attack. We could pile in more forces, try to get them to, to surrender, um, but for now I'm not convinced. So I think what we need to do in the end of the day is either bring you all the way over here and, and just brute force our way through here. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Right, other than that, um, what I probably want to do is... So we've got a couple of units over here including a security battalion, uh, which I think is not that relevant to be in the town at this moment. It's usually a good idea to have them around. But I would rather like to get our um, tanks here onto the town itself. Everyone else is at least recovering a little bit. And so that is at, at least nice to see that that is happening. Right, and you guys can move up there as well. Are you all in refitting? No, you can be. Um, but I suppose we don't have that much stuff um, that, that could be refitted to. Actually, I, s I should have a look over here. So, it doesn't really seem like we're using a lot of, well, the JZs, but alright. Um, let's see. And I do think we want to end our turn, yeah. Let's see whether we, the Russians do for any better. But as long as there's mud, there's basically no point in us. I'm um, advancing, um, except for like these targets of opportunity uh, where we can just do a little bit. Right, and ultimately, I think ultimately the plan for once the winter comes is to take one panzer group and come over here, uh, uh, well, <laughs> attack basically, we're basically going all in for Moscow, um, but if it just 
it appears we cannot attack them over there at all by Rishev to Moscow. Um, I think we're going to settle for at least Rishev. That is a, a target that I would very much like to take. Kalinin? I'm not sure whether Kalinin is a victory point target. Um, at any rate, it would be great to come up over here um, and fortify along the, the river uh, Lama and potentially the river Volga. So that would be a very nice defensive line, I believe. Also, we could be supplying all of this uh, from down here, so that would be nice. So it's losing a bit, us losing a bit, um, permanent losses this turn, couple of tanks, that's just really not great. I mean, we are losing, what, seven tanks? A lot of rifled squadrons. This is all attrition. And on the Soviet side, we do see them losing a couple of tanks as well, but mostly T-26s, which is really not that... Uh, that important for, for, for us because they're very old tanks and I would prefer they lo lose the, uh, the more important stuff. Okay, so we can advance over here with the U as well and it's just baby steps but I think it might be an appropriate way to do that. Then maybe flank you here a little bit. Yeah, I think we, we're just gonna try to advance just gently really. Supply is, or, or rather railroads, are still, still being built up. Um, and we have come up all the way over here, which is nice to see, certainly. And let's do build up the railway line. That is always a critical issue for us. Right, so you are building the railway line stupidly towards some place where it really doesn't need to be. And you really haven't extended over here yet. It's nice to say at least that this area here is now is now secured. Although I'm kind of thinking that you'll probably go up here next, uh, which wouldn't be quite as quite as important. Right. Oh, you're yeah, extending that to over there. That is nice to see someone operating there. Um, also, these lines being extended to the north is good. Some line being extended here into the city, which is pointless, um, and up here to the to to this branch. Uh, which is also kind of irrelevant. This down here is a little bit more relevant. More importantly here from Gomel we are pushing out. So that is nice to see. Even Chernikov would ultimately be um, un would certainly be supplied very soon. So I think that's great. Um, how do we look in terms of fortifications? It's basically a one sort of everywhere. Um, over here I would have hoped that we are building this up a little bit quicker. Actually, it doesn't seem like we are. Can I sign a construction unit to you? No, we don't have anyone there. Still, still it's good to see that we are building this up at least slightly. So that is nice. And uh, let's get rid of this. This I think I would like to keep. And then where are our railway battalions? Okay, one's over here. Yeah, and let's continue to build up this railway rail line. So we are two hexes away from the city um, and I think that's a fairly good result. So this will be fairly well supplied I think in all but the worst conditions um, and probably we will take that unit and move it someplace else um, from here. Uh, and that other place could either be this rail, rail line so that we are properly building up behind this river um, which would be nice certainly. So that would be three, six, nine or so fields could try to build down here but that would be going into this area which probably we will need to give up um, or alternatively we could start building up this rail line here uh, the benefit of that would be that we can move our units around it a little bit more easily along this front it's not really required though so yeah we might actually have to focus on on the area around here so that we can build up a stronger railhead against um, Moscow and ultimately also start to build up two of these guys at the same time um, and that I think would be great uh, Before that though, um, let's do try to advance closer towards here on Reshnev um, I know it's it's going to be tough though uh, Specifically because there's still mud. Oh, I should also check is there still going to be mud next turn? No forecast is no, so that's great because next turn then we will be able to um, do a lot more Cavalry Division withdrawing, that is um, unfortunate, but doesn't matter too much. Panzer Division's uh, upgrading, couple of air units. 
uh, withdrawing that is unfortunate. Oh, some guys are swapping to the F uh, W uh, F W one hundred nine. I think it's a better aircraft than the B F one hundred ten, but mm, to each his own. So that is very different. Ground elements we are swapping quite a bit of um, captured equipment out, especially guns and mortars. That's interesting to see. A couple of B F one hundred ten Cs. I think we saw someone else uh, being con converted. So that's good to see. Um, and a couple of ground elements are doing some swaps here to the 45 millimeter tank gun, uh, which is a converted tank gun. So we are losing, using a lot of Russian tank guns, it appears here. Uh, but that's just as well. The 37 millimeter ones are not necessarily the best. So um, that I think is great to see. Lots of vehicles being repaired. So that's also nice. Um, I think that will slowly but surely allow us to uh, do more in terms of in terms of bringing supplies uh, to our people here. Especially fuel. Still, well, fuel is still an issue for, for a lot of these units, as you can see. Um, although it's starting to look a little bit better, maybe. Right, um, also when there is snow, I would like to get most of my units to the degree possible uh, into, into air, um, these types of light urban areas. At least where that is feasible. I get one of you move over here. Still, still a lot of movement points. More than half of your movement points, and that does damage vehicles and all of that. So, maybe not. Okay, to get you towards over here, and then maybe into there, we need to at least get rid of this tank. How far can you move up? Far enough. Okay, let's attack here with a swift attack. It's just not enough. They are holding out there. Okay, follow-up attack. Do it, hopefully. No. We actually suffered more than he did. Right, okay. Um, let's get you to do a deliberate attack. How about this tank? You're still suffering from supply issues. Specifically fuel issues. Man, I can't really help you there. Well, that's not true. I can, in fact, help you out. So let's do send some supplies this way. And not intercepting us. That's nice to see. Right, so that at least was good, I think. Right. You. Do. Take this guy. Attack these. That's enough. Routed, lost a couple of vehicles there, um, they did, so that's nice to see. Um, and you still even have some movement points left. Question is, do we need that? Well, we would like to move in here. Okay, firstly, first things first. Well, if we get rid of these guys, we would at least not be suffering from their zone of control. So let's attack here. Very unsuccessfully. Um, let's attack again. Only this time a little bit more seriously. Ah, damn it. Could bring up further forces. Wouldn't be that elegant though. Also, we do need to move out with these forces here as well. Um, okay, so let's do that. Just swapping places. We're gonna get over here. We're just gonna do another attack over here. Finally, third one is a charm. Um, so you have kicked them back. That's nice. That means we can ring up you two walls over here. Do the little rail line. Um, and then, can I get you to move onwards? No, not really. Why not, though? Is it because it's an enemy hex? I don't think so. I don't think it should count as that. I've got these tank units, but I don't really want to move them up in these conditions. Move you up. Well, or you. Simply so that you are in contact. What's you? You're on the rifle division and headquarter. Okay. So we cannot really attack there. Could, could get rid of this unit, but again, if you don't really have cover over here, 
I don't, I don't think you should be going that way. The question is, what else are we going to do with these guys if not build up the radar line over here? Just having these guys waste a turn is is pretty pathetic. We these guys are our most valuable asset. Um, but I suppose next turn we will have a much stronger chance to to really do something over there. Can you get over here? You can. Okay, let's move that one unit up. And then let's see whether we can move you up. We can. You wouldn't be able to do any damage uh, repairs this turn, but I think we will be alright over here. Okay, so that's that's okay. I think we did deal, deal with these guys in the south, though. So um, I think let's end the turn. Specifically looking at this area here, whether we are going to build that up, and then yeah, again, just send one unit straight east, maybe through this gap, and then one over here in the north across um, the between the Lama and the Moskva River. And between the Moskva and the Naura again? No, Lama and Naura. Interesting names. Yeah, I think this is the secondary rail line that we want to build up. These are probably going to be able to support themselves or support each other. Uh, but I don't want, really want to take any risks. Oh, look at that. There's uh, some partisans uh, close to this area. Is that, this is the um, mountain area. I do need to check our... Um, requirements to do something. So, some interdictions happening. 20 people um, killed in a bombing raid. Could potentially go with a much weaker garrison up here in the north. If we do build up these areas, I think they'll be very difficult to penetrate for them. Um, but again, the Volga, we probably do need to break them. Uh, we do need to send some forces to to break the northern access to Ryzhnev while we go to Moscow. So that's going to be tough. So, logistics. Losing a couple of men, not too many. Um, losing a couple of tanks. Not too many, just a Panzer three, And some half-track. Lots of other things. Russians losing some stuff. Not too drastic though. Uh, let's get an info on the current order of battle. So yeah, we, we actually we trimmed down the Russians to 700,000 people at, at some point. They're back to 1.2 million. So that's that's just the way that the Russians replenishment system works. Uh, they get 500,000 people in, the, in these couple of turns, uh, which is amazing. And I think that's just on the map. So that's not the general stuff. Uh, this is on the map here. Definitely gonna repair this, um, but let's do actually have a look at the situation. So yeah, it is snow, and snow is very significant. You can see all of our units have regained quite a bit of their combat power, uh, and that is great. That is what we're gonna try to use over here, uh, to drive over here towards Moscow and, and do all of that. While, let's take a situation, let's take stock of the situation further down in the south. Basically our line here is holding, um, or they're not even closing in, so that is nice. Um, let's also check on the supply situation. So yeah, you can see now these railheads, even though they haven't moved up that far, do cover a much wider area. So all of these guys here should be in plenty of supply. Um, and that should be fairly fantastic. Yeah, you've built up your supplies nicely, so let's have a look at that. You've consumed three, you're now receiving four. Isn't that great? <laughs> and, and that is, you, you've basically received all of your fuel. Rail situation is still seemingly a little bit of an issue, uh, but mostly I think we are starting to look a lot better here uh, than we were just a short while ago. Yeah, you're not really. I mean, your supply si usage is increasing here a little bit. So you only had 22 last time, now you have 24. Or you're, well, you're not really building up anything. Still, you are getting some fuel. You guys here, at least a little, just look at these supplies, 34%. How, how does it look here for these guys in the city? I mean, it's 67%, at least you have some fuel. So that is nice to see. Um, and yeah, so what I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to ask all of these guys here to stop refitting and to assi assign a couple of their pi these pioneers and all of that. Especially also for these guys here, which we uh, thought would be our 
team. Well, Hansi Jägers, okay, that's nice. Um, who we thought would be our guys to go to Moscow itself. So, And then what we're going to do next episode is we are going to try to take our green army over here, these green tanks. And I probably think the green ones, are they actually part of uh, army group center? And I think the pink ones of army group north. So maybe we're going to push up these guys here in the north. No, no, no. Come on, let's not be silly. These guys are better positioned for a strike in the middle. These pink ones, the green ones are going to go up this way. Um, look at the defensive value on these guys, though. A hundred. I don't think there's any way we can break that without sieging Moscow for a couple of turns. And I'm not sure I do see that on the cards. And let's also briefly look at the victory conditions over here. So, yeah, there is Kaluga. We do have a hard time attacking that, but maybe we can divert some forces. There's Reshev, which is worth 400 points to the Soviets, so that's pretty important. There is Kalinin. We would get 200 points for that. Um, Moscow, although, is, is what's really breaking uh, the game for them, if we can hold that. These guys over here, just a difference of 300 points. 300 points over here, but I don't think we are going to get to Tula. This is, just seems to be too far off. Um, so I don't think we will even try to go there. Um, and on the other hand, Kursk on the other hand is worth nothing for us. So all in all we seem to be fine. As long as we hold on to this, this, and can advance on to Moscow. Which is not a small thing to, to be asking. Um, but yeah, that would be very nice. question is whether at some point we do want to go up here. Uh, but I think Moscow really has to come first. If, if we can capture this... Um, this might turn out to be very good for us. I kind of doubt whether it will, but um, yeah, let's try next turn. Uh, next next uh, episode, actually. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again then. Bye-bye. Do leave a like and all of that if you want, but uh, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>